There are those of you, you're still immature. When your excitement is up, your effort is up. But when your excitement goes down, your effort goes down. For some of you, you're too seasonal. When you're excited, man, you come into work the first week, the first month, the first three months when you got that job, you were excited and so you would put forth effort. You were blazing. Not you got comfortable. And you're not excited no more. And guess what happened? Your effort has gone down. So do me a favor. Get off of that feeling stuff. Get off your excitement. We're not dealing with feelings because feelings go up and down. You don't have to be excited. You made a commitment to that job. Didn't nobody force you to take that job. You signed your name on the dotted line. Growth comes through discomfort. You look at a great athlete. It's the way they show up in the championship game is simply how they showed up in the lonely light of the early hours at practice. To have the results, only 5% of the population have. You've got to be willing to do the things that only 5% of the population are willing to do. A champion doesn't become a champion in the ring. He's merely recognized in the ring. The becoming happens during his daily routine. The practicing, the developing, the discipline that when applied consistently can get you to the next level. If you look at the true warriors of humanity, you look at the true empire builders, you look at the true titans who are constructing a better world, they're less about pleasure seeking because they understand that if you want to have a great life, a soaring life, look at what most people do and do the opposite. How you handle rejection determines whether you will be successful in life. Do you know what rejection does to self-esteem? Do you understand how personal this is? I'm talking about what happens in your stomach. I'm talking about the taste of bowel in your mouth that comes out of your liver. Because it's not just that the door is closed. The closing of the door says, you ain't no man. You ain't no man. You ain't nothing. And this is a crisis. And it brings up every negative thing that has ever been said about you in your whole life. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself, dude. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team. Whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. Ideas are dime a dozen. People say, oh, I got a great idea. Everybody's got a great idea. The real question is, can you execute? Can you get yourself to follow through? That's the only way that you're going to expand. There is not a day that I get out of bed. There is not a f***ing day that I wake up that I don't feel like going back to sleep or that I don't have anxiety about what my day is going to bring. And I'm nervous and I'm scared. And I'm like, f***, all right, what do I got to handle today? And you know what I do? I wake up and I go handle it. Many of you have given control of your life to your feelings. You got to take back control right now. You must harden your f***ing mind. You got to discipline yourself. When it's time to rise, you f***ing rise. When it's time to work, you f***ing work. Regardless of how you feel, you've got to execute on your mission. You don't give yourself the option to take it easy. You don't make excuses. You don't blame anything, any person, because this is your life. You're the one who's responsible. You get to make a choice. Is failure going to break you, or is failure going to make you? I don't care who you are. Life is going to knock you down.